Welcome, welcome. We got two special guests here. I think one was here before. Uh, the other one, I think, is making his debut, and he's complaining already because he's saying the headphones are ruining your hair. So now, you know, he knows what I'm going through. Yeah, you know, that's why we have bad hair because the headphones here ruin everything. Please give a warm welcome to Ahmed and Hamad. Good morning, you guys. Good morning, Good morning guys. Morning. How are you? Uh, we're doing great. Yep. Healthy? Oh. Very. Healthy so far. <laughs> okay. I heard, I heard somebody sneeze earlier. Oh, oh no. Oh. <clears throat> <Get away. clears throat> No, no, that that ain't I haven't seen anything. That, that was an allergy sneeze. There's, Get a big out. there's a big difference between Get out. There's a big difference between like sneezing from allergies and smell. I have seen nothing. Coughing. <laughs> I mean, so all, all I smell are hand sanitizers, man. <laughs> yeah, exactly. This room smells of hand sanitizer. We're going extra here. We're trying to make it smell like a Good hospital. for you. <laughs> yes. Good for you. Honestly. So Scare the virus away. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, though, how are you feeling? How, what's going on with your life? Yeah. You know, how have you been doing in this month? Well, uh, it's holidays. I mean, we got to skip midterms. Yeah. So yeah. That was nice. that's you got true. saved. <laughs> 30 <laughs> days. Really. 30 days. You guys are still in school. Yeah. <laughs> which, which, which school? Zane is looking at us like, oh, you guys are still in school. <laughs> oh, wait, you're that young? <laughs> I don't know. You guys have all these beard, you know? Like, you look like men, man. Like, you don't I mean, look like well, you're in thank school. Thank you. <laughs> Zane, they're I'll Middle Easterners. Yeah, exactly. You guys probably have beards at like 10 years old, right? <laughs> I mean, <laughs> no. Not I, him. I grew it recently, actually. It's not even that grown up. Uh, uh, no, we're pharmacy students, uh, okay. fourth stage. Okay. So we still have a year and a half left. Howard yeah, Medical University. Great, so great. Yeah. Erbil, obviously. So you guys are off. Yeah. I'm for 30 days. Yeah. 30 so it's the universities too. Everything. Uh, everything. All schools. All public. Places. How do you feel about that? I mean, I kind of was looking forward to finishing all the midterms, mm. but now. Now it's just going to take now longer. Now it means you're going to be doing it in the summer. Longer. We were going to do midterms in two days, uh -huh. and now it's going to yeah. be in 32 days. So, <laughs> yeah, it's like. So you got an extra 30 days. Uh, yeah. 30 days. Although, it's like, yeah, no, I'm not going to study. Yeah. <laughs> I am actually going to study. So, what are you guys doing now that, like, you have no, you know, school? Like, you know, are you just chilling? Or what are y'all doing? Uh, we're both working. Yeah, so, both so working. you guys have jobs? Yeah, yeah. full time. Okay. Yeah. When it, when there's college is half time. When there's full no time. college is full time. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So we have a good deal with our bosses. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. What do you guys do for work? Uh, so I'm a media and technical manager. Okay. And I'm the communications manager at my company. Nice. Yeah. yeah. Cool. So They're both pharma companies, by the way. <laughs> so we work in the pharmaceutical industry. So that's that's oh, the good, good thing. Good. Yeah. You guys are still working within your field. Within our yeah. field. Yeah. Good. Good. The things that we have other. skills in, but still in our fields so Good. we're not out of the loop yet a couple mm -hmm. years left until you graduate what do you think about but uh, this whole thing you know because this uh, the problem that the dentists have also pharmacists have where there is no dying and, and stuff <laughs> like that so what what how are you feeling uh, about this whole government uh, handling i'm, not, I'm not looking graduate? forward to being handed down a job that's for sure <laughs> yeah so do you know that our syndicate actually told us with a letter official letter mm. telling us don't come to pharmacy students we don't need any more pharmacists anymore. Everyone graduating is not going to be ta'in, is not going to be employed. So, yeah. Wow. Uh, we're that sorry, must but hurt. that's That must hurt you. How do you feel? <laughs> yeah, we're used to it. Up on us. <laughs> How do you feel? I don't know. We have our own job. Uh, yeah. So, I guess me and Hamar are not I'm, scared I'm used at all. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you guys sound lucky, you know? Like, you've already got something lined up. Yeah, I mean, know? I wouldn't call it luck. I would call it perseverance. <laughs> yeah, yeah. There you yeah. go. I've, I've been Good. working for four years. Okay. Uh, and my ma'ash has been increasing a bit. So, when I graduate, it's literally going to double. Good. So I'm not worried about employment. Good. But okay. there are a lot of other lot people of who people, yeah. really, really are right. like concerned. Aren't uh, as persevering as you guys. Or uh, lucky, yeah. I guess. Yeah. <laughs> well, I remember, bit of both. I remember when I was young, you guys' age, it was a long, long time ago, you know. You had a lot of energy, a lot of ambitions. And uh, you didn't want to just do a job and that's it. You, you wanted to always be outside of the house. You wanted always to be doing things. Yeah. And you guys are keeping yourself pretty busy. Tell us about this book club but it's not a club what is this exactly you guys are book doing x, book x it's called book x what is this exactly so I'll, I'll let ahmed explain actually oh. since he is the man of the idea <laughs> so let him explain so basically we're in college uh, you know we're in a pharmacy college uh, three years ago mm -hmm. or like actually the first year of college we wanted to do some stuff at college not just study so we made this group of active students right I uh, headed with uh, Dr. Bajdar, who was our like leader, and he was a teacher lecturer at our university. So he took care of the logistics and you know permissions and and uh, uh, room to do the stuff in. And then we students did activities like workshops, seminars, uh, book clubs, and stuff like that. So this idea was born out of that group w within these three years. So the idea was actually by Fatima, who's a student with us in the group. And I was like, okay, you know what? I'm going to take up the idea and actually apply it in our college. Mm -hmm. And the idea is Book X, which is Book Exchange. <laughs> I named it after Forex, which is Foreign Exchange. Okay. So the okay. X means exchange. So Book X is Book Exchange for free. So okay. I basically 
Uh, we had a festival, a spring festival. Noor, have you ever been to our spring festival in college? I the mean, medical one? The, um, yeah. Yeah, yeah. We've, yeah, we've sponsored it a couple times. We Ooh. have been there, yes. Oh, I don't yeah. think you've... Have you sponsored ours? Pharmacy one? Yours, no. No, I don't think you've sponsored ours. No, we don't. Ours. Not yeah, yours, yeah. no. The, the <laughs> Visit us once. Medical no, one. It's really nice. You like, should come to ours. Our, get ours is actually ours. famous for being the most interesting one in our university. Really? Yes, every Okay, so, so invite yes. us. <laughs> when it's not Corona season, <laughs> and we will come, we yeah. will come. Oh, yeah. it's always gonna come back to that, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, we don't want to be a gathering yeah. public now. But okay, so c That's continue to explain anyway, this idea. Yeah. So the idea is, uh, with the spring festival's money, we collect about like 200k, uh, and me and Hamad like we put another 50k on it, and then we bought a shelf, a bookshelf, and we put it in our library, and then we're gonna fill it with books. What so kind of books? Well, all kinds of books except religious and political and, uh, you know, those kind of books. Are just like normal, like novels. Novel, novels, history, yeah. scientific books, because we fun need a lot books. of books. Fun books. Yeah, yeah you can name books. it. I mean, non-controversial books. There you go. Yes. Uh, non-controversial. Yeah. I like it. I like <laughs> yeah. it. Yeah. That's good. Um, so, yeah, this sounds great. Um, yeah. How many books do you guys have now? Actually, we have about 120 so far. Wow. How many of them yeah. have you read? No, it's for not, the students. Not many, <laughs> not many. <laughs> I've actually read about 30 of them. Okay, that's nice. impressive. Yeah. Are, do you guys read each book like cover to cover? Or do you kind of skim no, through them, no, like no, no. read chapters that are interesting? That's highly you? impractical. <laughs> yeah, what we're gonna, what we're aiming at is 300 books. Uh -huh. Collect 300 books and then put it all in the library at college. Okay. Right, and then anyone can go and take it for free. It's gonna be entered into the school system. I talked with the dean. He's gonna ask the library staff to enter all the books into the system. So whenever someone goes and takes one, his name is gonna be registered that this person took this book. So they have to bring it back after a while. They read yeah, it. they should have like so what? Yeah, a there's month, gonna be a system. A yeah, month exactly, to have it exactly. or something. Yeah. So that's that's the idea. The idea is to enrich our college's library with modern, fun books, so that students are motivated to read books other than just lectures and malzama, you know? So that's yeah. most of the books that are in the library now are like... Are 20 years old, ah. full of dust, ah. no one touched them, no ah. one reads them, All they scientific, suck. obviously. Yeah. Ah. So Do you have somebody like looking after them or is it just out there in the open? The library staff are going to look after them. Like staff. literally it's going to be part of the college library. So it will be yeah. the college's assets. Basically. It's not going to be something separate. It's just going to be within the library of the college itself. But anybody can go, just go uh, say, I'm a student here. Show and their ID. Just show their ID. Yeah. yeah. But yeah. how are you gonna encourage young people to actually use these books when you know reading now is not like yeah. how popular it was 20, 30 years ago? True. I mean, what's your what's your what's your strategy for that problem? Well, first, uh, it's just gonna be for our students in college, basically. So or our university, because I think anyone from our university can take the books. Yeah. Uh, and two, as I mentioned, we're we're already very active in our college. We already like I have, as I I uh, set up a meeting with about twenty of the most active students within the three, four stages. And I asked them all to put it on their stories, to put it on their Facebook or their Snapchat, Instagram, Twitter, to talk about their friends in their groups. I talked So about you're bothering your friends is what you're I you bothered no, every... No, no, no. <laughs> hence, hence how you heard of us. Okay. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. We went everywhere. Like everybody talk about this. You make reading cool. Yes. Yeah. And now, so if you see these active, like really cool girls and boys all talking about this reading, so everybody's like motivated to like yeah. go with them. They will at least try. Yeah, we also have a book. We had a book club, and I had a book club with my sister because my sister is with me in college. It's really cool. Mm -hmm. And last you year, with my you, you, you tell her to do your homework. That's what you mean. No. By which is really cool. No, That's no, what no, you no. mean. No. I know what you mean, but okay, yeah, okay, go ahead. Sometimes. Hello. Sometimes. All right, all right, all right. Write it out. Okay. <laughs> Anyways. Yeah. So, so then what? What? what go on. What were you saying? You you've had a book club. Yeah, before, we but this we one were with my sister. It was called. It was an English course trying to improve the English. A language of our students because you know our uh, semi our like curriculum is all English mm -hmm. and the biggest problems college students face is that their English is not so good and the lectures are like scientific lectures so the words they use are very like hard and big and like it, it scares them yeah so it, it kind of makes them study less complicated really, yeah yeah. yeah it makes them study less and that's really bad them out. yeah yeah it stresses them exactly so we tried to improve the English through a book club we mm -hmm. had like 25 students and within a year, we were just like handing them out books and motivating them to read, having meetings, having picnics, yeah. like you know, eating food and stuff to like motivate each other to study. And then at the end of the book club, thousands of pages were read by the students awesome. in English and their English was, re was improved, which is like, so this, these are the things that we're taking step to, like small you know. yeah. steps. You guys are seeing real, real results, you know, like, yeah, yeah we really did good. see real results with this book club. It was amazing. We were really proud of yeah. it. So what, what gives you guys the motivation to do something like this? Like, you know, to help other people, you know, when you can be helping yourself with your own jobs that you clearly got, you know, you're going to graduate, you know, so what makes you motivated to help, you know, your fellow students? I mean, isn't helping people also helping yourself? Yeah, it is. 
That's my motivation. That's your motivation? Really? Yeah. Well, what about, what what about you, you? I mean, you learn better by teaching and being with other people than you do just by yourself. Okay. Sense, and yeah. that's one of the reasons. Another yeah. reason is I've had a lot of people help me throughout my life. And giving back is a tiny bit of like appreciation for that. Who has helped you in your life? Um... Now that a specific example isn't coming to me, right? I just blanked out. <laughs> <laughs> Family or friends? Uh, both, I guess. Mm -hmm. uh, I think the first people that come to my life are uh, just uh, my friends. Usually, they've been very supportive of everything I do, especially when I started uh, doing videography uh, and I started my Instagram and like YouTube channel and stuff like that. Yeah, you if were here were, a few yeah, years I was, ago. I was here two years ago to talk that. about your vlog, your vlogs. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> So uh, when they were being very supportive about that, I got motivated to do more. And I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for their support. So I guess that's the biggest example in my life right now. Real quick, how do you make sure that the books come back? Like, how do you, what kind of system have you implemented? So uh, we've talked with the dean. He's going to ask the staff of the library to enter all the books that we have collected into the system, into the computer system of the library. So all the names will be there. So anyone with the ID who goes and takes a book, his name is going to be written next to the book they've taken. And then they have to, at the end of the year, you're not going to get back your report card if you haven't, uh, if you if you have a book on your name. So you have to bring the book back. Ooh, so they Otherwise, have no choice but to bring it back. Yeah, yeah. There is a there is a system. So you go to the library before you get, so they check your name. If you have any book on your name, you're, you're not going to get your grades back until you get the book back. Um, you said you're at 130 books, right? Yeah. We're now, yeah, but we're aiming for 300 books. You want more books? We want yes. more books from anyone listening. More books, please. please. So this is why you guys are here today. Is you're asking <laughs> right. people <laughs> yes. to donate, donate your books. Donate books, books guys. Yeah. Okay. Mushkilaniya, sir. Ciao, sir. Thank you so much. You know, we <laughs> have, have you got some books? I have actually a few books. Yes, why not? Okay, I'll give great. You some of the books. <laughs> great. Books here. Yeah, guys. Uh, you know, one day I plan on leaving. Um, Erbil, you know, to go back to the U.S. Zane has wife. like ten thousand books. Forever? I have a lot oh. of books in English that are that are really good books. I paid for, I, you know, I purchased them. Some of them Ooh. were gifts. So yeah. if I could donate them to you guys, uh, I mean, if you want I mean, to, if that you would want be great. To. Well, we're not gonna force you, know, you into I it. I can't, like, the, you know, it's a lot of kgs. Can't, oh. really, can't really take them back to the states. <laughs> that's, that's, that's true. Why. That's true. <laughs> You're so, offloading okay, no. them. <laughs> well, we're actually happy to, to take it. Yeah. yeah. So we'll stay in touch. You know, maybe like you know, this maybe end of this year, early next year. We got people checking in already. We got the Jamaa Nadine from Bukit. Stand. They're like, we would like to donate some books for you guys. Ooh, oh, that would be nice. awesome. Okay, now so <laughs> yes. How Rawa. do you want people <laughs> yes. to give you these books? Do you want them to bring them to Babylon or, or you guys have somewhere they can come um, to you? I mean, you can contact me through my page, Hama underscore visuals. Hold on, uh, let me see if it's correct. Hama underscore visuals. Is underscore visuals. visuals. Of course, Zane, this is 2020. <laughs> Facebook is only for grandpas. Yeah, or Ahmed <laughs> Latif on yeah. Facebook or yeah. Twitter or Instagram or whatever. Hama underscore visuals, it came up. Yeah. You only have 500 followers. Is this you, yeah. the guy with the food? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. That, that's my latest video. You do videography. You got marriage videos and stuff. I have everything. I do wow. all kinds of Your videos. work is pretty He actually has some videos Thank of our you. projects in uni. Yeah. Like he took some of the videos. You know the video. oh, I swear to God, only in Kurdistan you see, for example, a person who his specialty and his college <laughs> is pharmacy, but on the side, he has taught himself videography. Yeah. So he does, you know, wedding videos. And at the same time, yeah, let's do some book clubbing at the same time. Why not? <laughs> I mean, I, I dabble in everything. <laughs> you do more than double. And he you works. He has, he has a part-time full slash full-time job. So do you. Oh yeah, so do I. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> so, if, so if you guys want to contact him, Hama Visuals, Hama underscore Visuals on Instagram, and then he'll tell you where to pick him up or where to. Drop I will him ask up. all our students to repost again on their on their uh, like social media so that they can like people who want to donate can maybe their friends, maybe they yeah. meet them, yeah. maybe they're close. So pretty much they, anybody in the HMU. And if yeah. people are too shy, they can always of course come bring them here. Yes. Yes. Noor, we would be love. Noor's love to door pick them is up open. Here. We'll contact <laughs> you guys. You we'll contact you guys and we'll, we'll give you guys all the all the books that we have. Zane, are you? Making a get, are you making a, a donation promise yeah. here on the radio? Yeah, for sure. On the how radio, many books? Next year we're getting ten thousand books. Yeah. How many? How many books? We uh, have video proof, Zane. <laughs> I think I've got. No, 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 I know you got a lot, but how many do you uh, promise to donate? To all them? of them, because he's going back. Them. Not all of them. Hold on a second. Maybe I want some of them. <laughs> Come on, Noor. <laughs> Come on, Noor. He's my Don't friend for more than Noor. three years. I want to get. <laughs> I want to benefit from him for a little bit. No, yeah, I, I, could, I, could, I, could, I could give you at least fifty books. Oh, that's a big donation. Damn, is, <laughs> we like a big spender. That's the right sound. That's the right, no. <laughs> yeah, so that's a lot of books, Zane. I, I like to read, you know, and uh, I've always collected books. But you sure my whole you want to give that much to them? 
<laughs> Why no? not? Noor? <laughs> Noor, do you have a Are they not deserving? Do you have a bookstore that you want to like go sell it? <laughs> are they not deserving? Thank Noor, you so stop much, sabotaging. You guys are deserving. You guys are very deserving. Anybody so listening much. out there, please help and support these young people. They have energy and they want to give back to the community. So the future incoming crisis, uh, they'll benefit greatly when they have uh, different windows. I mean, yeah. you talk. Every each book is a window. Yeah. So some let's self development, some time management, some I don't know stuff like that for, to help the students. Everything and anything, as long as like you said, just as long as it's not like politics, it's politics and, and stuff like that. Yeah, we just try to avoid it. It's better for the college. What do you guys? What do you guys uh, think about um, in terms of your personal future? Do you see it staying here, or do you always thinking about leaving? Hmm. Hama, what do you think? Be honest. Don't give me some I lying mean, bull crap. <laughs> <laughs> you see me? I have a bunch <laughs> of lines of work, so I don't see it abandoning any of those anytime soon. You're not gonna leave. Yeah, I no. think I'm gonna be a chef. You're gonna be a chef? <laughs> yes. I think I'll. Wait, what? I am. I mean, that's my plan. I'm, I'm trying to learn cooking now. I bought a course. We have it on video, Ahmed. <laughs> yeah, it's we're really? gonna hold you accountable. That's what's in my mind right now. I don't know if it's, if it's gonna change or not, but Burned I've been thinking everything. about this. For a four months, yeah, I'm gonna be leaving my job, my. Field. You don't look like a guy that eats, though. Yeah, but he no, isn't. I'm I'm trying to be vegan. I'm trying to. So you want to be a vegan you chef? You know why? Because no, yeah, exactly. Plant-based food, but I want to make it delicious. Because the biggest problem with vegan food right now is delicious. It's not delicious. It's, it's not delicious. Or, or you can't make it delicious easily. Are you a vegan now? Not yet. Not yet. I'm trying. Planning. Yeah, I'm planning. Cause uh, I'm doing it for the health. So, because I don't know much about the animals and stuff and what, how, what's being ha being done to them, and I'm not like very aware about that stuff. But I am aware about the health side of it because it's mm. my field. I know that it's what we're eating is really, really bad. I see my dad, my mom, my grandparents suffering from diabetes, hypertension. I see them. I'm seeing them die slowly in front of my eyes, and I know it's the food's fault. I know it's the their yeah. lifestyle's fault. Yeah, so that's, that's the painful truth, huh? Yeah, a lot of doctors with us. I mean, the uh, top arm students, you know, uh, medicine students. Are, like we were sitting in conversation they're telling me oh my dad doesn't listen to me he has hypertension he has diabetes I'm I know he's gonna he's slowly deteriorating he's gonna die eventually he's not listening to me and that's my idea my idea is to work on this in the future I don't know how it's gonna turn out I don't know if I'm gonna change my mind well, maybe money will make me change my mind I don't know <laughs> well you guys are two very smart uh, bright individuals Thank and I you. think you guys are gonna leave a spot in our society um, we need people like that who are always thinking and always trying to do things like that um, this uh, book initiative is it's it's wonderful it's great you already got the support of Zane yes. right here Zane the man I can't <laughs> believe he well he guys Zane I mean, the man. come on Noor you too come on <laughs> no. I don't have 50 books but I'm, maybe I got like Five. No, it's but up to you. I have to look for them. What about Zoe? Do you have any books? Zoe doesn't have that many books. Zoe doesn't. Oh come yeah, on! Doesn't read. She hey, gave us the thumbs up. Okay, how many books? How many? Ten. Ten. All right. Okay, oh, we got great. twenty. No, 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 no. She did this no, twice. She has twenty. No, no, no. She, <laughs> <laughs> she has ten total books. She can't give you ten. <laughs> <laughs> That's what she meant, I think. Noor, so give you Noor, 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 you, it's your turn. But I see, I don't have that many books. I have to look Noor, for. purchase some. Okay, one book. Okay, oh, it's, good. it's good, it's good. We take, we're gonna take it. 61. Oh, we'll take it. Yeah. Any any donation counts, even if it's one book. Thank you guys so much. Guys, good luck with everything. You just heard Hama and Ahmed um, from the pharmacy school trying to continue their initiatives of uh, providing books for upcoming uh, students in the university and they're trying to make up a book club basically or a book uh, circulation kind of a system in their university. They've collected 130 books so far. Their target is 300 books. Halfway Let's there. have the city of Erbil, yeah, halfway there. Let's have the city of Erbil make that dream come true. We want to see some pictures. For sure. Later. I'm probably going to make a video about All it. All right. All right. Yeah, he's going to make you're a video about it. You're going to see the great. video. Great. So we'll post yeah. it on Babylon FM, Facebook, Instagram. Guys, search us for Thank on that. Thank you so much. So Thank we'll be you. tagging them over there. Any last words before we say goodbye? Thank you for listening. And if you want to donate any books, don't forget, I'm a visuals or any of us on <laughs> social media and give us your and books. <laughs> have a great day. <laughs> and maybe do these initiatives in your college. Like don't don't just sit, go. sit doing nothing, guys. Come on. There you it's go. really fun. You get new friends. You yeah. you, you come to Babylon FM, meet Noor. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Start a group chat. <laughs> what, what about me? I'm not sure. Oh, oh, and Zane oh, gives and you Zane, books. Zane, <laughs> Zane, Zane. No, no, no. Don't I'm forget Zane. Oh, he's, Zane. he's the big donor. <laughs> and Zoe, thank you guys so much. He's thank the big guys. donor, not me. Yeah, yeah exactly. Exactly. Don't don't suck up the north. Suck up. <laughs> get up. Get up and do things, guys. Get up and do things for your community, for your friends, and for your college. Wow, that's yeah. a, that's amazing. I love the energy I'm hearing. Thank you so much, you guys. Good luck with everything. Thank you Thank so much. You. It was an honor being here. Love. <laughs>